morning guys it's a bit later than i would hope it's quarter to nine right now and i'm just getting started on my dissertation plan this morning i've just woken up i've had my breakfast i'm just drinking some coffee <laughs> it's a really miserable day today especially when you've had some sunny days if it's just been constantly shit like when it's like proper winter you kind of just get used to it you're like oh yeah it's winter and shit now but when like the weather at the moment one day is really sunny and the next day is really rainy and shit and the next day is really sunny again so like you're almost always expecting the sunny nice day so then when you get the gray shitty day you're like oh that's not very nice <laughs> but yeah yeah, I'm gonna get on with my work. I just wanted to say good morning. <laughs> dissertation plan well not finished it definitely not finished it because i haven't planned it all but the dissertation like plan that was like submitting for now is only supposed to be a thousand words and obviously dissertations are quite quite chunky so the thousand words didn't really cover it all so far i've kind of planned what i think i need in my introduction what i think i'm gonna do in like one section and then two sections that's what i've got so far i'm not 100 percent sure yet on like the structure whether those two sections are going to be like big chapters but yeah i feel like basically the point i'm at right now is that i need to do a fuck load of reading <laughs> where i place my hand i always accidentally zoom in but yeah i kind of have like things that i know will be helpful to read that's kind of how i've structured my plan i've just got like this essay this book because i know they're related to my dissertation if that makes sense so it's at the point where i just actually need to do the reading um for those things i know for some people this might sound crazy because some people are like almost at the end of their dissertations where i've got like half of their dissertation before i would get really like stressed out about like what other people are doing but sometimes you just need to know how how you work like this isn't just an excuse like, I do obviously it would be nice if I was like a little further in I think I've kind of got to the point where I've realized how I work and it's okay if I'm behind some people because not everyone works in the same way I physically know there is no way I could do a dissertation over like months because the way I work I can't write like right I'm just gonna write this paragraph and leave it there and then come back to it like a week later like I just I can't do that and like my dissertation supervisor was saying that as well she was like don't worry because not everyone works like that like if you're an intense worker I I need to like intensely work on something and like focus my energy on that and I it's not feasible during term really so I think I'm all right like honestly the dissertation is still due in like two and a half months as long as from now on I do start to focus my energy on the dissertation I'm gonna get the essays out of the way I already have quite a detailed plan for one of my essays the other one I still need to kind of actually get to it but I do genuinely think I'll be fine <laughs> I just know how I work I know that I need to intensely focus on something but yeah I'm feeling pretty good because I feel like the plan basically shows that I have a lot of content that might end up being the only two sections i have anyway the two sections i have so far seem to cover everything i feel like i need to talk about the next thing i need to do is send off this email for the intern the <laughs> for that internship second it wasn't really an interview to be honest like a, a meeting discussion i need to basically send the email off being like i'm sorry that's not what i'm like really looking for at the moment <sighs> so yeah god being an adult like honestly emails are the fucking bane of my life i don't know it's just emails are stressful okay especially an email where you're like thanks but no thanks <laughs> once i send off that email should i start packing or should i leave that until after the meeting we'll see but yeah i need to start packing because i'm going home tomorrow yeah everything's great <laughs> Hey guys so i just got back i didn't vlog much i was gonna vlog like maybe on the way back but as you may be able to see it was chucking it down <laughs> yeah now you can look at that also it's deemed up it was like sprinkling a little bit on the way there and i thought that was annoying and then on the way back really 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 bloody raining i got pretty much drenched even though i was wearing my raincoat so yeah that's fun the meeting went really well yeah my supervisor says it looks like i've got lots of really good stuff oh my god i actually just in the mail i was like panicking about this because my s card hadn't come yet the girl who i sold the camera to who said she'd send it off to me when i got back it comes through the post box so very happy about that today's actually wednesday which is an upload day so literally as soon as i put this camera down the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna crack on with trying to edit this it's pretty late what time is it it's literally just two on the dot so it is quite late but i'm just gonna power try and power through editing it and hopefully i can upload it it might go up late so if you've watched that vlog sorry that it went up late <laughs> i might have the rest 
rest of my pancakes for lunch. <laughs> I need to eat up all my food anyway, so I think I'm gonna do that. It is chucking it down out there. It's so loud. Of course, it goes quiet the minute I say it's really loud. I just had this thought, like, this is perfect nap weather. <laughs> and then I realised I haven't taken a nap in, like, a week, guys. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> With my whole new, you know, sleeping routine. Sleeping early, waking up moderately early. It feels like ages to me. It's literally about a week. I feel like that's quite long. <laughs> but yeah, it is literally, like, that kind of, like, typical rainy, really grey, perfect, like, kind of nap weather. If I, you know, still took naps, but I don't anymore. But it's making me, like, just kind of feel a bit drowsy. But no, I am powering on with editing my vlog. Look, guys, this is how much footage I got. In fact, that's not even all of it because there's still a bit on the new SD card from when I sent off my other SD card by accident. So pretty much an hour and a half, probably even more worth of footage that I need to edit. That's going to be really fun and easy. Wish me luck. <laughs> guys if you can't tell by my appearance looking well that's shiny enough that i can like you know <laughs> i could fry something on my face yeah if you can't tell by my appearance number one it's a lot later number two i'm really freaking tired it's literally quarter to 9 p.m and i'm only just eating dinner it's ridiculous <laughs> let me show you my dinner i don't think i can eat like even half of this this is very much a i need to use up all of my fresh food kind of dinner so i've just got roast cut and potatoes does it count as roast potatoes if you don't boil them first and then grilled i guess they're grilled anyway and then grilled mushroom and red onion yeah there's just so much of it i don't i don't think i'm gonna be able to eat this all but you know so i managed to upload my video yeah that's about it i've not packed or anything like that i feel very fucked because i feel like i have so much to do like tomorrow i need to pack i do I need to do some laundry and I need to like hoover my room. Obviously packing is the essential thing but when I'm packing for like this long break I want to go away for like the holidays like Christmas Easter I have to remember everything because it's not just like oh it's fine if I forget something I'm only I'm going to be back in a few days. I also have a 9 to 11 9 a.m. yes that's 9 a.m. tomorrow. A 9 to 11 seminar. My train's at 5 which it's probably one of the worst times because York can get really trafficy between like 3 30 and like 6 7 ish and 5 is like prime rush hour so I actually want to leave early which means I have less time at home to do all the stuff that I just listed that I need to do oh it's a lot I don't know how I'm gonna pack and sort out my room and everything in like maybe four hours why did I do this I might just start kind of collecting things after I eat dinner morning guys so it is officially my last ever day of the university which is insane it's about 8 30 just before 8 30 i think and um of course on the last ever day of university i have a 9 a.m and it's a 9 a.m seminar i think i mentioned it yesterday but yeah 9 to 11 which is not ideal because i still haven't packed anything i've brought some of my skincare from the bathroom like this morning just to leave on here that's about it <laughs> um so as soon as i get in i need to just rush in here and pack essentially i'm just eating breakfast again more of a i need to use up my food meal yogurt banana granola and chia seeds i never really have that as like a breakfast type thing i basically always have porridge for breakfast but i bought some yogurt over the weekend i need to use it up i'm gutted as well because it's not the yogurt i usually buy i get like the greek style one but this one tastes a lot bitter like a lot more like actual greek yogurt so yeah i'm in you guys will have seen this this jumpsuit already <laughs> lol orcs i think i wore it on monday just laundry wise and in terms of what i'm taking and everything i just wanted to wear this because i've worn it once and like it's not dirty but it's not something i want to put through the wash and it's not something that i just want to put in the suitcase and also i just like it because it's really nice and flowy and comfortable to wear so it's good for traveling so repeated outfits yeah, so I've just got that on um, from Urban Outfitters and my t-shirt is this grey Adidas t-shirt which I got from Cyprus from a market and my belt from Boohoo and I'm gonna wear those my Reeboks just because they're grey and they match when I'm actually leaving to go to the station to go home I'm gonna wear my docks because obviously they're the biggest bulkiest thing so it doesn't make sense to pack them but yeah anyway I should probably get on with breakfast so I can leave I wish it were a better day for my last ever day at university but alas it's super grey and I think it's gonna be raining later so that's just absolutely perfect <laughs> Hey, 
just like that, three years of uni finished. I can't even believe it. It didn't even really hit me until literally the last second in the seminar when everyone was talking about like what they're doing. Like when we were leaving and people were like, yeah, I've still got my last seminar like tomorrow. And we were just talking about like the fact that from now on it's just like independent work, like writing our essays. And that's when it hit me like, damn, like this is literally the last ever teaching I'll have at university. I got that feeling, that like end of school feeling, like when you leave school and you know you're done with school. Like I just got that feeling. Even though I was like, oh my god it's gonna be the last week i hadn't really had that like feeling perfect way to end uni i am once again absolutely drenched uh, yeah can you guys see if this doesn't show you how you know rainy it is then i don't know what because obviously i was cycling so with the tops of my thighs absolutely drenched i swear the last like three days i've just gotten progressively wetter and wetter on the way to and from uni today was probably the worst i just feel beat down like it was so windy again like super fucking windy so that it was really hard to cycle because the wind was blowing of course in the opposite direction to what I was cycling so it was pushing me back and then obviously it's like chucking it down with rain I could barely see because my glasses are all fogged and steamed up and rain droppy but yeah enough complaining it's done now now what I need to do is fucking pack so it's 11 I have just a few hours to actually pack everything like I know realistically like packing you can do it in half an hour but it's just not forgetting things oh my god I actually look ridiculous I just look like I've wet myself can we see that can we actually see see that I look so weirdly proportioned as well I feel like I don't look that weirdly proportioned in the mirror but on the camera it's showing me very tiny on top and then obviously this is very loose in the bottom so like in a way yeah but yeah anyway back to how I look like I fucking wet myself that is insane and disgusting and it better dry out before I have to leave again literally crazy swagalicious <laughs> a few hours since I last vlogged. I showed like a little bit of time lapses of me packing up and stuff but I didn't show too much. I didn't show everything just because one I just wanted to get on with it because it was kind of short for time and two I thought it would be <laughs> obviously quite boring just to watch me like packing every single thing. But yeah I'm finally done. Everything is packed away. Bed is made. There's my um suitcase even gave it a nice like deep clean really dusted around all the surfaces humid like i said i like leaving whether it's home or here clean just because it's nice to come back to clean so yeah my bag is super heavy and super full even my like ikea bag which once upon a time i would literally just have like my studio lights obviously like kind of broken up and my tripod in there this has become the spill bag as well anything that i really need to take that doesn't fit in the case goes in there so that's quite heavy as well my my backpack is also quite heavy so yay i'm gonna get an uber to the station just because it'll be easier technically could get the bus but it's just too much hassle like kind of getting onto the bus of like trying to pick up this heavy case yeah it's not worth it i might as well just take an uber so yeah i'm pretty much just waiting to call the uber it's like slightly too early but i'm gonna probably yeah, call it in about 10 minutes or so I'm in ends. I'm in ends. I'm back home, guys. Yay! There's my trash of a sister. Hey! I'm back home. I'm back home. Okay, that, wow, that angle was not hot. I just wanted to say I'm back home. <laughs> Bye.